My name is Carrie Allen and I am a consultant pharmacist. I'm here to talk to you today about the five elements of a great med pass. If you pass meds, you know that there's a lot more than five, but these are the five major basic areas that you should be concerned with when someone's watching you do a med pass, but also just on a day-to-day -day basis. Patches. Let's do some privacy with patches. Don't just rip up people's clothes and slap patches on them willy-nilly. You want to make sure that the patch is in date, and usually you want to open the patch a little bit before you're going into the resident room or before you're about to really wash your hands and everything because it's hard to get those patches open. So then it's a little open. It's ready to be taken out. You're going to wash your hands before, put on your gloves. Make sure you wash your hands after you're done. Make sure the other patch has been removed and disposed of correctly if there was another one on there. Put it in the correct area, which can be tricky depending on the patch. Hold it in place a little bit to make sure it sticks. Date and initial the patch. We need to know when you put that on in case there's ever any doubt. And then the MAR. Document where the patch was placed. And typically we rotate sites, but lidoderm we do not rotate sites in most cases. You put lidoderm right where it hurts. It's just giving you some lidocaine to numb the area that hurts. Topicals. Make sure the product's in date, wash your hands before, wear your gloves, hands wash after. Are you sensing a theme? I think you probably are. You're going to remove that cream from the jar or the tube using an applicator or a tongue depressor, and then perhaps you're going to take it and stick it in a cup or whatever it is you need to take into that room because you're not taking this tube into the room. That can cause contamination. So we don't want to do that. You're going to apply to the affected area as ordered and then, of course, observe your infection control areas, which means you're going to change gloves and wash hands between different areas and wounds. We're not trying to cross-contaminate those wounds there. And you're also always going to wash your hands before you leave the room. Make sure those topicals make sense. Um, we had a resident who, you know, for four or five years at one facility was getting stuff for a wound. Well, that wound was long healed, healed probably about a month after the resident got there, but we were still treating it. I'm not sure why, so make sure that doesn't happen. Check to see if the issue is resolved. If it's prophylactic, does it make sense? Are we putting, you know, the diaper rash cream on the buttocks? that's where it needs to go. Or are we putting it on the feet? That doesn't probably make a lot of sense in most cases. If it's a PRN, I get a lot of PRN creams. Oh, you know, use PRN. PRN what? Rash? Hives? What? Capsation is sort of a popular one nowadays. It's an extract from peppers. Make sure that we're not putting it anywhere near mucous membranes. Sometimes people forget when they write orders about that. I had in order for a resident to get capsation, and I have no idea why, it doesn't make a lot of sense, in the perianal area. Well, this is a woman, and even if it were a man, I would have been concerned. You don't need to get hot pepper extract up near you know, the urethra, the vagina, those kind of things. That's going to burn. So we need to make sure that all these topicals make sense.